Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we'll be looking at one point perspective. In the previous video, we looked at the construction of an object drawn in two point perspective. I hope that you found the video useful and I hope that you were able to complete the drawing. So good job if you did. And in today's class, we'll also be looking at completing this one point perspective drawing, right? Which will be the, the end product. So what you're seeing on the screen now is the front elevation, which is a drawing below this drawing here and the plan, right? Now, it's the front elevation and plan of a simple object that is drawn in third angle projection, right? So in this drawing, we are start out, starting off with a two-dimensional drawing. And when we are finished, we will be drawing our object in one-point perspective, which is a finished product. Okay. Now, the first step to draw the one point perspective is to draw a horizontal line any distance any length to represent the ground plane right this horizontal line will be the ground line in our one point perspective drawing right so let me label that So we're going to leave it here. This is a ground line. Ground line. I'm going to leave it on the other side so we can follow along easily. Ground line. All right. There we have our ground line. On the ground line, we'll be drawing our front elevation. All right. So the next step is to draw the front elevation. So we go line. I'm going to make the base a little bit longer. Enter. All right. The next thing that we're going to do will be drawing our picture plane line um, above. So we go line. A line is a construction line can be any this any length. We're gonna label it so you can follow along. Picture plane P P. I'm gonna leave it on the other side P P. You don't have to label it on the other side. Is this um you can follow along a little bit better. Or right, the next step is to draw the plan on the picture plane and I'll show you what I mean. So you go line. I'm gonna draw some vertical lines so that um you can follow along. So we go line. These these will be construction lines, alright? Enter line enter alright no, I'm just using that to show you that we are transferring the length in the front elevation up by the plan, the top view. All right. So we're going to go line, 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 line. Enter. All right. So what I've drawn a while ago is this line. This, this, this. These sets of lines I've drawn, right? So it's this, 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 and this. What I need is this line here, right? So I'm going to go again, line, enter, all right? Now I'm going to delete these three lines so that it doesn't um, distract you when we're drawing the, the construction lines, right? We could actually put them on layers and turn them off, but I'm just going to delete it for the time being. 
all right right so there we have our plan remember i've changed i've made the base a little bit longer all right but it's the same um l shape the letter l in the alphabet same basic l shape all right the next thing that we want to do we want to establish where will where will the person's eye be looking at the object and where the person's eye is located on the one point perspective drawing is called the station point so the person's eye would be at that point looking at the object good now the first step you're gonna do is draw a construction line that is horizontal so you need to determine how far away from the object do do you want the person's eye to be right so let me draw it so we're gonna select here so we're gonna go line construction line any length enter right then <clears throat> along this construction line anywhere along here you're gonna um lo you're gonna locate your station you want to choose your station point right so my station point for today's drawing would be right here right so we're where these two lines intersect that would be my station point for this drawing right so let me label it station point for you s sp for station point so right here would be, turn off my snap. I'm gonna label it using my text command. All right, so I'm gonna label this SP station point. All right, so my station point is um, located where I've drawn this um, construction line, this vertical construction line to intersect this horizontal line. You don't need to, to draw this vertical construction line, you know. I'm just using it to show you where on the line am I going to be, be using as my um, station point along this horizontal construction line, right? So this distance. Right. This distance is saying that we are standing 50 millimeters in front of the object, right? So that's what it means. All right. So remember, the plan view will be coming um, from the screen towards your face. So the person's eye will be looking at the object and they are standing 50 millimeters away from the object. Okay. All right. So we go. The next thing we want to do now, we want to establish our horizon line, which would represent our horizon plane. So we're going to draw, first step is to draw a horizontal construction, horizontal line anywhere. All right. Enter. All right. So this line is our horizontal line. So let me label that for you for ease of reference. Hope you're following along. Good job. All right. So we go start. We have located a starting point for our text. And then we're going to label this horizontal line. And we'll leave it on the other side too. Horizontal line. Good job. So we have a construction line. This line is our horizontal line. Now, I'm going to delete this line because I was just using it to show you we're on a line on that horizontal line was a station point. Now, what we're going to do now, we're going to draw a line from the station point to intersect the horizontal line good is that clear listen again 
from the point that you selected along this line which in this drawing is 50 millimeters away from the object in, right from the station point which is the point that you have selected along the this horizontal construction line what you're going to do you're going to draw a perpendicular line to intersect the horizontal line right now where this vertical line intersect this the horizontal line you're going to label it as a vanishing point right so let us label it as a vanishing point and in the one point perspective you would have one vanishing point in the previous video where we looked at the two point perspective drawing if you recall we had two vanishing points one on the left and one on the right in the one point perspective drawing however we'll only have one all right one vanishing point so let me leave that so let me leave this bp for vanishing point all right have you labeled your drawing all right now the next step is to draw from the corners of the front elevation to the vanishing point from the front elevation right so we go using the line command from the top corner we join it to the vanishing point enter we go again line enter line again enter we go again line enter line enter all right so what we have now is it the drawing um we have the front elevation as the construction that we use to start our one point perspective drawing we have our drawing drawn there to the vanishing point what we want to, do, to determine now is how long are these lines okay how long are those lines? These lines, right? So that will, how long these lines are, the next step is to draw lines from the back, from here. So it will be here, let me show you. So we have the text command. Let me, let me show you, so let me, text command so a start point would be turn off my snap there all right let me go again start point here enter all right, so label, let us label this um, A, then B, then C. So what we want to find out is this would also be A, B, B, and C. All right. Let me move down B a little bit so you can see it. Why is that better? Good. So we have A, B, C, D. So we want to know where along these lines would be a b and c all right so follow along all right so to get those points what we'll do we'll draw construction lines from a to the station point let me turn on my 
object snap good and it will be aligned there right so a where where this line a to the station point intersects this line which is called a picture plane line to represent a picture plane you're going to draw a line a construction line from this intersection I'm going to turn on our ortho coming down to intersect the intersect this line enter good so this point would be a let me label it for you so this point let me turn off our objects now this point would be a good a that's a all right, so the next step now, we want to get B. So repeat the same process. So we're almost finished with the drawing now, all right? Turn on my object snap. There to the station point, enter. I want to drop a perpendicular, all right? So from where this line intersect the picture plane line, we're going to do the same procedure that we did for E, right? So we go line from the intersection there coming down enter all right now we want it to intersect this line so we're going to extend it all right so we're going to use our extend command all right so we're going to extend it right good that's where that point would be all right so that right here would be D. All right, hope you're following along. Right, now at D, which is here at the back, let me label it for you. So B would be here, you know. So let me label it here for you. B. Turn off my objects now. B. Um, a, B, C, D. Let me label here D. All right, so I'm going to label here D. All right. So um, B would be at the top here. B. All right. And uh, C would be here. And D would be there. Right, hope you're following along. Right, so we have B, which is right where this line intersect, this vertical line, right where the intersect that would be B. So let us let us label it B. The B. Now you don't have to label it, and I'm just labeling it so that you can follow along in the video. All right, so you don't need to label it. So B would be right there, right? So what we could actually do now, since we know that's B, we can draw a line across. Turn on our object snap. Enter, right? So let me darken up the drawing. I can draw a line from this corner to there. Enter this corner to there. Enter. And I can darken it up for you. So there, 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 and there. If I change a layer, I put it on my outline. You'll see the um that I have the. I'm almost complete with a um, one-point perspective. Um, so what we want now is D. So B was here, right here, where this vertical line intersect this line. That was D. We're going to get um, 
we're going to get D, right? So what we can do, we can extend this line to intersect this line, and with the intersect, that would give you D. So let me use the extend command to extend it. Enter. Good, good. So where this vertical line going down means intersect this line going towards vanishing point, that would give a D, right? Let me label it for you. So we're going to label for ease of reference. You don't need to label it, but just for ease of reference. All right, so we're going to go right here. This would be D. Let me label B for you. B would be right there. B. All right, so B is right there. All right, so to get C now, we're going to do the same procedure. Now we're going to go line from C, join to the station point, press enter. We're going to repeat the same process. We're going to draw a line from where the line C to the station point intersects the picture plane. I didn't pick it up right, so let me go again. Line there, coming down to intersect this line. Enter. This point would be C. Right, C. I'm looking over here, I have a D, two Ds here. So let us label this as, let us label this as D, D, all right? So you can follow along, right? So I actually saw that I had two Ds. So the first D would be this one. This, where this vertical line intersects, here, this vertical line intersect this line going towards the vanishing point. That would be C. All right? We don't have to label it, but just the ease of reference. So um, we can select our outline layer, and we can actually draw it dark right there. Enter. All right? So this line. I'm going to draw a line there, line, enter. Are you seeing the drawing? And we need another line here too, from there to there, enter, good. Now I'm going to move the D a little bit um, away from the drawing. So I select that, the, the object D. And move it away. Oh, let me turn off my object snap so you can actually move there a little bit a little bit better. Good, good job if you're following along. So you don't need to put on these labels A, B, C, D, you know, but you would need to put on these lines if you want the picture plane, the labels, picture plane, the station point, the vanishing point, the horizontal line, and the ground line, right? The labels that are city that are would be optional would be the labels that are coming from the front elevation and the plan, which is A, B, C, D, and D, D. So where D, D is, um, we could replace this by E. So let me change D, D to actually E. All right. So if you have yours as D, D, you can let it stay. So to get, so this is D, I can label here E. So let me label E, I mean C, sorry, C. So right there, so the start point, enter, enter. I'm going to label that C, good, all right? So we have C. And we need E. So C to E is a vertical line going down to intersect this line going towards a vanishing point. So we can choose our line command. We're going to make sure we're in the outline layer. So we're going to go line.
I need to turn on our Odrix knob. All right, there to there. Enter. All right. Now, this line, when I put it back on the construction um, layer, which is my, which I use as the default, all right? All right, so there it is. Now, uh, construction, I'm going to change to my outline. Line, that's my outline there. I'm going to go line there. Turn off my ortho. I'm going to go line this corner, the lock corner, enter. And if I change the color, if I change the color to blue, then it would show the one point perspective drawn a little bit better. So I hope that um, you were able to complete the drawing and I hope that the, you found the video useful. In the next video, we'll be looking at oblique drawing. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.